So welcome everyone. This is a live action demonstration of Collaborative Operations, which is a program we've been rolling out over the last year to all of our customers to get them connected to our experts around the world. So our customers are in a situation where the digital era has created a mountain of data. So that mountain of data actually causes more problems than it solves problems. But with analytics and with connection and collaboration, we can actually solve those problems for our customers. And this demonstration will show that. And what you have over here is a typical setup for our collaborative operations center with our customer. He would typically be looking at the sites that he's responsible for, along with a case management system that shows him the items that are in stress, the items that are in critical state, the items and the assets that are in need of attention. So it's a quick dashboard, that's his typical day. We have a customer site where the customer is looking at the same information periodically with ABB's help and solving the problems and getting to the root of the problem. And we have a headquarters site where they're looking at data more about plant performance and about a data that makes them, uh, allows them to make decisions uh, about moving production and uh, optimizing their production. We've been doing this for years. We have uh, customers all around the world in all industries. Uh, this demonstration is it's generic, which would apply to any industry about critical assets. So I'd like to take you now to another place. I'd like to take you to a, a world of data, a world of insights, a world of analytics. It's the Internet of Things, Services and People. We call it the Collaboration Zone, so take a look. Yellow. Uh-oh. Alert on now. 301 at Global Industries. We've got a customer in trouble. Let me drill down into their system. This is strange. I haven't seen this problem before. Mm. I better call ABB to get some help. I've got someone calling me from the site. Hello, Steve Burt, ABB Operations Center. Hi, Steve. This is Kenneth from uh, Villa Hermosa. I just uh, received an alarm on my system. I hope you have the same. Um, I'm not really able to find a root cause here. Maybe you can give me some uh, support. Uh, yeah, Kenneth, we got an alert here as well, and I've got your graphics up. Let's drill down into that alarm and take a quick look. Oh, you've got a valve swinging all over the place. I, I don't know what's going on there. I believe we have a camera on that valve, and we can call it up and do a visual inspection. So if we go over to the, the main screen where the valve is blinking, click on that, and go into camera view. Yeah, I'm opening up here. You know, the, the, the valve looks all right. There's nothing outwardly wrong with it. What, what I can do, Kenneth, is I can get one of our service technicians in there tomorrow, take a look at it, and see if we've got to repair it or if we need to replace it. Will that work for you? Yeah, that would be great. And, you know, last time we had an issue, it, we were down for two days, and, it, you know, we lost millions. So yeah, we don't want that, that to happen. On. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, I'll schedule that for tomorrow. Great. Thank you very much. Okay, so what you just witnessed in that first scene was a failure of a typical asset, a valve, that was about to fail. And ABB and the customer collaborated and worked together to do something to prevent that failure. But what about a critical asset? What about an asset that only occurs, a failure might only occur every five years? We have analytics on those types of assets as well, and that's the type of uh, troubleshooting we'll see in the next scene. Let's take a look. Hey, hey, Kenneth, hold on. Degradation on compressor C36, K3200 at Global Industries. Looks like we got another alarm coming in from a compressor that's downstream from that valve. Do you see that? Yeah, I can see that as well. Okay, Leah, let's drill down into that and see what's going on. Okay, let me open here. Okay, I'm opening it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking at the performance map. It doesn't look good. It looks like it's, it's extremely noisy. Um, let's go look at the asset reporter uh, for that compressor. You just click on the eye. Okay, straight on the graphic here. Okay, yeah, that brings up uh, the reporter. And if we look at the uh, m main performance alarm there and click on that, we can drill down a little bit further. 
Yeah, I can see it here. In condition. Yeah, it doesn't look good. It's really running close to operational limits. I know we have some uh, analytics on that uh, compressor. Let me bring in uh, one of our analytics experts who can help us with this. I'm not as comfortable drilling down here. Can you hold on for a sec? Sure. Okay, let me call him. Hey, Kevin, can you come on over, yeah. please? Hey, Steve. Hey. What do we got? I've got a problem down in uh, Mexico at Global Industries. We've got a compressor I that's starting to alarm, right. and I'm not sure about the analytics. Can you drill down into this? Yeah, sure. Hey, Kenneth. Yeah, it looks like you got some issues. You've had some alarms. Now we need to dig into the analytics, all right? Now you're plugged in. Hey, come into the analytics button, and we'll take a look at that. This, uh, we have all the high-resolution data captured, and we've aligned that with uh, performance measures so that we can ascertain what's causing this. Um, in your case, you've got a rotating equipment issue. Why don't we click on that and then move over to the KPI view, the performance indices, where we can look at the profile for this particular asset class. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. I'm suspecting this surge event. Do you see that one that says surge event detected? Yeah, something about 9%. There. Yeah, yeah, that's usually at zero. I know there's, there's a lot on here, but there's a profile, and, and this should be zero. So if we click on that, it'll help us dig right into the raw data that's causing us the issues. So this first one is pegged at 100. So let's click on it and see what it shows us. You know, this allows us to uh, sync the data with the KPI so we can exactly see what we're doing. Oh, look at that. See this surge here? This surge in the middle, it's, it's above the noise floor. You've got this surge. That aligns with the alarm and your dots here. So that's what you're seeing. So now we know that it's true. It's not a false positive, so we don't want to be chasing rabbits. But now let's see if we can use the data analytics and navigate to try to find the problem. Let's do some mining. So let's jump back over here to this loops channel. I'm suspecting that you've got a, an intermittent disturbance. Um, that's what it looks like. So if I go to the event view, go to the process area, and that second KPI, that one called P5, intermittent disturbance, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of shaking going on. So let's go in here, and I can see, oh, look at here, this TI, this 739. Oh, there you go, Steve. That's in another area of your plant connected through a header to this particular compressor. So it's very likely someone might be messing with that loop causing this problem, they don't even know they're doing it. So let's, like we did before, let's click on that KPI and look at the raw data just to get that visual value. Yeah, look at that. It's oscillating. This is aligned with that pulse. This is causing you your fit. So there could be something wrong with this, but you've already done a visual inspection. My guess is just somebody's flipped this loop from auto to manual. I can see you have access right, so could you d dig in there and just make sure it's in manual? And if it is, flip it back to auto. Yeah, let me see here. Uh, this should be valve 302, I think. Yeah, yeah, right there. Open faceplate. Yeah, you're right. It's actually manual oh, right. mode here. Yeah, let me try putting it back in auto. Yeah, in the old days, I'd had to fly into sight, and this would have tripped. So we've done this in seconds. Very good. Hey, I see you did it. It's in auto now. Can we look at the trend? Okay, opening trend display. We call up the trend display. Now we can come over here and look. Hey, looky there. Okay, that's, that's what we like to see. You did the right thing. You called us just in time. And this is such a clear example of where you had an issue, an alarm, a related process, and a causality, and we solved it. Let's go ahead and plug this into the predictive notification so we can capture this knowledge for the next guy. I'm also noticing as I'm poking around on your system, there's a, like I said, there's a lot of things that are wiggling around. And I really think uh, a loop performance fingerprint would really help you guys. I see you have a contract, so let's go ahead and schedule one of those. You have over 400 assets. Let's make sure that we don't have any problems. It's not a great idea. You know, we had an incident a couple of weeks ago, and, and this, this we really want to be more proactive with. So, All yeah, right. sign me up on that one. All right, great. great. Will do. Okay, so what you just witnessed in that scene was a failure, potential failure of a critical asset, ABB, and the customer collaborated, looked at the analytics, and quickly got to the root of the problem. So they made it look easy, but the, the challenge behind all that was that we are analyzing the data, presenting the customer and ABB with meaningful information, actionable information, so they can quickly act and solve the problem before it occurs. So now let's flash forward to two weeks where that engineering manager and the operations manager at headquarters are looking at data in a meaningful way for them. They want to look at plant operations, make decisions on moving production, and have a discussion based on how that plant is performing. So let's take a look at that. 
So Marco, I got this notification on my phone about the compressor at Villa Hermosa. This worries me a bit. The last time we had a problem with the compressor, uh, we were down for four days and lost more than two million. In fact, they had so many problems at that site last year that we were considering to consolidate operation and move production for that site somewhere else. Can you tell me what happened this time? Did they sort it out? Yeah, that's true. They, there was a predictive alarm. If you look at here right now, you can see that uh, there was a problem with one of their critical compressors. But I was in contact with their local site engineer, Kenneth, and he had it taken care of with the help of ABB. So no worries about that. All right, great. So how are they doing at that site now? Actually, they're doing great. Let's look at the financials for, for this site here. You can see here that uh, the operational cost for this site, they are the lowest from all of our sites now. And what is, uh, what is causing this is that uh, their maintenance costs have been going down quite drastically in the last six months. And at the same time, both uptime and throughput are above our targets. That sounds really good. How did they turn the tide over there? Yeah, so what they have been doing now is that in the last six months, they have been implementing ABB's collaborative operations, which enables remote monitoring, predictive analytics, and condition-based maintenance. You can see here in this graph that now more than 50% of their equipment is covered in condition-based maintenance. I think this has really helped them. Yeah, I can see how the availability of uh, key equipment has also gone up. Yeah, you can see here. For the critical motors, compressors, pumps, they're all way above 90% availability. So this looks great. Wow. Well, I'm glad we didn't shut them down then. In fact, I think we need to look into what they've been doing together with the ABB and see if we can transfer the learnings to some of our other plants. Yeah, I think that would be the right thing to do. So that concludes our live action demonstration of what collaborative operations is. And to recap, what you saw was predictive analytics being used to solve problems before they occur. You saw people collaborating and talking. You saw things happening that um, solve the problem before they occur. What I would ask everyone to do is reach out to your ABB representative and see how you can subscribe to the network and be a part of collaborative operations.